Hey what's up guys, I'm Chicks and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. One of the most beautifully designed smartphone of 2017 is definitely, without any doubt, the Samsung Galaxy S8. What if you could get a similar designed smartphone to the Samsung Galaxy S8 for under $160? Well today I have in my hands the brand new Blue Boo S8. They have taken the infinity display idea from the Samsung S8, however the similarities end there. The Blue Boo S8 is a new budget smartphone and is currently available for well under $160. But let's find out how good it is. Inside the box you will find a user manual, a screen protector, a SIM eject tool, USB Type-C cable, a power brick, a clear silicon phone case and the smartphone itself. So here it is guys, the Blue Boo S8. This design is a close match to the Samsung S8. I would not say identical but they've done a good job of making a cheaper alternative. The body is made from a combination of metal and nanoplastic to produce a unique fingerprintless design. And as with most 2017 smartphones, this does have a very nice premium feel to it and the curved infinity display looks pretty good. So on the front of the device you have a very nice 5.7 inch infinity display with a screen resolution of 1440 by 720 and a pixel density of 282. At the bottom of the screen you have your usual three touch buttons, back, home and menu. The fingerprint sensor is very responsive and unlocks the screen very quick and accurately every single time. This smartphone is 8.4mm thin and weighs 204 grams. This is normal for most budget smartphones in this price range. However, it does not feel too thick or heavy and I actually like how this looks and feels. It's quite comfortable in the hands and can be used with one hand quite easily thanks to the 18-9 aspect ratio. At the bottom of the device you will find a USB Type-C port, microphone and a single speaker. On the side you have a volume rocker and on the opposite side you have just a power button. At the top of the device there is a dual SIM card tray which can take two nano SIM cards or one micro SD card and one nano SIM card. There is no 3.5mm headphone jack which is a shame but they have included an adapter in case you need it. Multimedia videos and movies look great on this display and the sound is quite loud and clear. You can also play more or less any game on this smartphone and the games look and play great with no frame drops or issues. So you have the MediaTek 6750 combined with the Mali 860. You have enough power to run more or less any game from the Android store and the overall experience is nice and smooth. You also have 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. The battery capacity is 3450 milliamps and this will get you through 1.5 days with medium to heavy usage and this also supports USB Type-C fast charging. Coming to the cameras, on the back you have a 13 megapixel and 3 megapixel dual camera setup with an f2.0 aperture and you are able to shoot up to 1080p videos. And on the front you have a 5 megapixel selfie camera. This smartphone comes with dual Sony sensors and the camera is pretty decent for a budget smartphone. You are able to take clear photos nice and fast, especially in good lighting situations. But here and there you will experience some background noise and fuzziness. Check out these samples.
Furthermore, the Blibu S8 runs 360 OS on top of Android version 7 NuGet, and you have an overall fast and fluid near stock Android experience. And CPU-Z shows us that this device does not come rooted. In the Wi-Fi speed test, this device was able to achieve download speeds of 24.20 and upload speeds of 9.52 megabits per second. And we were using a 40 meg broadband connection to run these tests. Here are the Geekbench scores for single and multi-core. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we got 41,104. So let's see how that compares to the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart for all smartphones that I have reviewed to date. Higher the benchmarks, better the overall performance. You can compare all the specs, benchmarks and prices and this chart will help you choose your ideal smartphone. So as you can see, the Blue Boot S8 has taken position 12 with a benchmark score of 41,104. It will be interesting to see which smartphone I review next and what overall benchmark score it gets. So now we are going to quickly compare the Blue Boot S8 to the official Samsung Galaxy S8 and see the differences. Of course the Samsung S8 is over $600 and the Blue Boot S8 is only $139. But let's see how good of a job Blue Boot has done in replicating this S8's infinity screen. So on the left you can see Samsung's simply beautifully designed 18x9 infinity screen and it just looks and feels amazing in the hands. I call this Samsung's masterpiece and I have no idea how they're going to make this look better in the future S9. And on the right of course we have the Blabu S8 with its 18x9 infinity screen. There is a huge difference between them quality wise. The Blabu S8 actually looks slightly wider and the bottom and top bezels also look slightly thicker. Both screens curve around the edges, but the Blabu you can still notice a 2mm black inner screen bezel, so it's not completely bezel-less. But to be honest, at $139, I think Blabu has done a great job. You get a nice quality HD screen, which is bright and looks great in all angles. This is no doubt a great budget handset, which I've been using for the last few days and managed to last the battery nearly two days without charging with light to medium usage. So there you have it guys, that was the Blabu S8 smartphone. In 2017, devices that we call budget are still very powerful smartphones. This smartphone has an octa-core CPU with a Mali 860, 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. Therefore, you can play more or less any game from the Google Play Store, watching YouTube videos and Netflix is simply awesome. Battery life is also very good and this supports fast charging. So for only 139 US dollars, which is around 109 pounds in the UK, this is what I call lots of bang for your buck. It's not completely bezel-less, there is a 2mm inner black bezel, but it does not bother me, I still love the design and this might quite possibly be the best designed budget smartphone I have seen so far. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out, and if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day.